King Sharp and Vinny come back, even if it's winner's quarters. I'm definitely sad. Uh, but hopefully, you know, we get to see them either way. I, whoever takes a loss, we'll get to see him in top eight, even if it's through loser's side. Uh, like I said, we saw this last week. So we'll see what these two can do here this time on winner's quarters. All right, we're going to see the Nido Diddy, Sharp's Diddy, taking on Ben Zelda. More oh, Smashville. More Smashville. <laughs> <laughs> this is an interesting choice because basically Knight can cover almost the entire stage. Yeah. But the trade-off is that Banana can also uh, wind up taking a lot of stage control. And here we go right now. Sharp is trying to basically use that instant win neutral tool of Banana to make uh, Ben's life difficult. The Ben playing this defensively so far from the get-go. This is such a matchup where I tell people I'm always kind of unsure how it should go. Just because Diddy is one of those characters like man, when he he is he is a train that keeps on going. Once he gets once the train starts and the coal is all lit up and fueled, it's really difficult to stop Diddy because he excels at so much when it comes to being able to trap his opponents, force options, be aggressive, defensive, you name it. Like Diddy excels. If, if there's such a thing as an all-around character that's really good, it would be Diddy for sure. Having projectiles, having really good neutral tools, having good speed, air speed, like there is very little Diddy is bad at. And when it comes to that strength, there's so much you can do against Zelda. But for Ven, the name of the game here is honestly to stop Diddy in the movement. And Ven is always keen on just trying to slow his opponents down as much as possible. And you can Ooh. see that, you know, there's a lot of respect coming out from Sharp, particularly. Just trying to make sure when he gets in, he gets the hit and he's walking out. And Ven getting that good back air. Man, that's a strong kick from a princess. As essential as Banatos is to, to Diddy's entire strategy, the the actual act of doing the Banatos can create some openings. And Ven managed to slip in the sweet spot uh, back air. Just in response here, Sharp getting the up smash to even things up. One of the things I saw Ben do, uh, Vance, while we, we were doing that expert analysis, uh, was he managed to capture uh, Sharp's banana and basically reduce Sharp's movements. So I want to see Ben try and do that again. Because if there's a character that can get by with just one button, the B button, Zelda's definitely the <laughs> <that> character. <laughs> it's that little red button, man. Jesus, you take away from that game controller and you know what you got, Zelda's got, there's some some decent stuff, but not as good as that B button. I'll tell you that for sure. Uh, Ven is definitely the Zelda specialist, so I live and breathe oh. by whatever Ven says in this matchup here. One fifteen to forty one. Ven, not too out landing. of the cards. Yeah, excellent yeah, landing coming out. Excellent land call out there from Sharp. Looking for the follow up here, Dane Fair. Ven right now is in danger of losing the second stock right now. You also see Sharp isn't really uh, concerned with doing a lot of like really close to the ledge ledge trapping he's he's con content at mid-range for the most part it's mm -hmm. interesting just because he's he's basically accounting for night from a recovery night by ben Zelda, back air though zelda's one of those characters i tell you she is a mid-range wall but once you break through that mid-range man you're able to just go through all the way the only way to break through mid-range sometimes is really strong tempo uh, and definitely a character like diddy has one of the strongest tempos in the game and that goes to show right there, just with that offstage forward and a little interaction. Two hits like that, and you know what? It's, it's a really decent stock lead coming out here for Sharp. Oh, what a sweet ball up there. The rising back here. Uh, double here. Sharp right now. Trying to cinch this one. Oh, he wasn't able to avoid the knight, though. And then he's brought it back. That's a full, oh, I was going to say, that is going to be a forward air from Zelda. That down throw forward air from Ben is such a DI check. If you fail that, you lose. That is literally like taking an exam and your teacher just throwing that off question you should have studied for. It. Nice get off me ass smash there by Sharp. Using the side B as a burst option too, which is something you really love to see from Diddy in order to mix things up. Ooh, Ben almost caused landing though. Sharp yeah. just holding shield right now. Can he survive this one? Yeah, every Diddy lives and dies by that side B. I'm telling you right now. Ben dancing precariously at the ledge right now. Managing to get back to center stage. Trying to find a window for that back air. But no sweet spot. A little denied. Gets the nair. Has Sharp having to jump all over the place right now. 
Sharp can't land comfortably. That's an up throw. Watch, watch for Ven's landing here. You know Sharp is going to be looking to try that. I love that execution from Ven, though. Able to get towards that left. Just avoids the grab, too, and sends out Knight to punish Sharp. Did dash tech Ven. Looking for the snipe win and does get it! Stilettos. The back Man. air, Ven's going to take game one. Incredible stuff coming out from Ben, man. I'm telling you, she is a mid-range wall, and that's a very difficult wall to get through. And even though Sharp played this as tempoed as possible, Ven knows the objective of the game, man. Slow my opponent down. If my opponent can't move the way he wants to, then he is effectively playing my game. But it doesn't even matter if Zelda is even like not able to get the pace that she wants. Ven was able to deal with a mad scramble at the end of that last stock so well, and managed yeah. to just uh, you know hold on to the storm and uh, staple the win. Yeah, and for all of you guys wondering, I did see somebody in the chat ask if we will be getting Elijahman versus Alan Dis on stream. Yes, that will be on stream. That'll probably be coming up when we get to the top eight territory. But for now, here is more Ven and Sharp here. Uh, Van on set point because this is a best of three here. We'll see if Sharp can come back and give us a game three. Like I said, man, sometimes I really love watching these two players play, but more than the victory, I like to see that game three, game five scenario. We see already Van working in more of the, the grab game to start things off. Sharp obviously is going to be able to make a lot of do out of that, but that it's something that Zelda does capitalize on. And I like to see Van going for oh, almost getting waylaid by that down air from Sharp. He almost got it again, but the uh, Ferrari's win there, saving Ben, able to use the teleport hitbox to get back to stage. Both players right now just trading back and forth. Vance, what do you think Sharp has to do a little bit differently to try and get away with a win here in game two? Honestly, like, when it comes to a wall like that, it is about the strong tempo plays. There was a few times we did see Sharp kind of slow down in several situations where he should have been looking to punish a little bit differently. And his ability now in just trying to punish Van like so, even with the night out, just goes to show you get through so you get through a wall through being temperamental here. But unfortunately, Van gets the up smash. And Sharp's gonna have to bring things right back to where, where we left off here. But his ability to come back and turn on the Jets, look at that just aerial stall, putting on 53 on Ven, like I said, the best way to defeat Zelda is just have a strong tempo game. And Sharp is slowly starting to show signs of it. But you gotta be able to cool off the Jets, man. Sometimes you have to play a little bit back and call your opponent's habits there. And you know what? Sharp needs to know, sometimes you got the best way to get around Knight is to respect it even for just a second. It's tough though, because I don't know how much Diddy you play, Vance, but whenever I play the character, I just want to like, run right at my opponent so much. Old Forlord. It's really tempting. And such as that F smash there. Looking for the call out two with the a fire, but not quite going to get it. The elevator. Oh no. Top the next floor. <laughs> that, is a, that is a top floor elevator trick, I'm telling you right now. And Ben right now is also getting away with the one thing that kind of trumps pace, no matter what, trumps tempo. And that's oh, uh, no. just get off me uh, no. hitboxes. Oh, that is, that, is, that, is the, that is the true tired and true Diddy problem, is living and dying by that side B. And Sharp almost had a full taste of that. Ben was just frames away from actually just absolutely steamrolling his way to a 2-0. And now Sharp is trying to hold on here, trying to weather the storm. Nice yeah, down tilt well, fair. There is definitely a storm of Zelda's options and movements and just so much control right now coming up from Ben. We had a great execution there on the Din's fire. And what a great call with dash attack to stop the center stage landing. Just because he knows that's where Sharp is going to go. Why not punish him? Finally a back here Ooh. from Sharp. That's 103 on Ven's fresh, fresh stock, man. And you know Sharp has a lot to work with here, but it starts off great with such a tempo play here. Going for the down throw back air and waiting from Ven to see what the reaction is going to be. It's just tough because Sharp's going to have to bet it all on some kind of like, you know, banana to down air confirm. Maybe right here? Oh, man, I almost got it. But even then, it's... He's, oh! oh, he almost got it! No, 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 no. Oh. Okay, not, not a full spike. A little bit too early on that percent. Like that from Sharp, though. Cools the jet, stays at the ledge. He knows I want a 5 percent stage, but I cannot give away too much here. That's a hard side B coming out there as he gets the command grab. And Sharp just looks for the stage control. And he has to like watch out for his shield too, because if he just it falls just too low, it'll be the perfect window for Ben to sneak in a back air or a sweet spot fair. Mm, speak of the devil. Speak of the devil. That was way too over Zolos and Sharp. And just like that, Ben, ben takes up with a 2-0. Do you think that like Diddy's character